In this exercise I want to combine the use of indents, borders and tabs. So first of all I'm going to highlight all this text from the top down to the very bottom um, except I've not highlighted the title line because what I want to do is use the right indent marker to bring that into 12 centimeters. I'm also going to do justify to so just make it smooth down the either right hand side and then I'm going to do a right border so I get a line down the right hand side. Now what I want to put on the top line is a tab but I don't want a left tab I want a right tab over on the right hand side of the page. To get a right tab a quick way of doing that would be click the tab tool in the corner until a right tab appears and then position it on the grey part of the ruler it won't let you put it in the, in the dark grey part but you can put it on the, on, in, in the light part and then move it into the dark so I want to move that into the dark area okay so it's not letting me do that that's annoying doesn't matter press tab to that type action points and what happens is um, the text comes in off the margin into this document so if I move the margin in a little bit just to cheat slightly I can move that tab further across now it's probably the software I'm using that's stopping me doing this but without the software running you can actually put that tab into this dark grey area on the ruler and then that would make it come closer to the margin but the idea being um, that you've got a title for this area um, which I'm now going to move across a little bit I think just to make that stand out a little bit better like that okay so now I've moved the indent for the rest of the document across so action points is where somebody would write with a pen nobody can type in there so this would be maybe a, a bullet list or, of action points I'll just do that it would look something similar to that and you'd be expected to print this off and then sign to say you agree with or you've done that point and that's what it would be used for and that's the end of this exercise.